Welcome back to part three of the Sturgeon Companion Mercenaries, you beautiful people. Now a little bit of deja vu, we're back at Ye Old Castle that I believe we took last time. We defended the other one and took this one. Now we have to defend it against the Northern Empire whilst we're also fighting the Kuze. And we lost a fifth of our old army trying to breach in so hopefully this holds and we don't lose all of our companions and all of our troops and all of that fun stuff uh, that would suck if we lost everything okay auto deploy on this what we got we got a mangler dow up here that might be able to get the shot off there but i doubt it and we got a few more companions this time around so done a, a little bit of grinding in the background and also set up a few, like, troop trees for when we have to do the old ye defense, which we're doing now. So, as I was saying in the last episode, an issue we have is on this wall and across here. Is once the other side gets breached, A1 pulls off this wall. Then A1 pulls off this wall. Then all of the enemy forces can come flooding in. Then you try to counterattack. And then all of a sudden, uh, they have quite a, lot of the, quite a lot of the advantage as such. So... What have we done to solve this? We've created a tier of heavy troops. So heavy troops should be six. And we are just going to place all of these bad boys over here. Right where the ladders are going to come up. No. I don't want you outside. Ah, uh, that's not working. Okay, give it off to the sergeants. Cool, you guys coming up? Sweet. And then we've also the old heavy Sturgeon Cavalry. We've managed to get a few of them and turn them into companions as well. So we've got them as heavy cav as well. Uh, instead of standard cavalry. And those guys are uh, insane. Actually insane. Things you've got to be careful of. If that baton ram comes in and smashes down the front door, we are in trouble. Now, potentially what we could do if my guy didn't move so ridiculously slowly. We could ideally... Overtake the baton round. Come on. Come on. I got a plan. I got a plan. It's going to be sneaky, but it's also going to be awesome. Hutsk. Come on. We're nearly there. Run. All you got to do is just get in front of it. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. Um, I don't think we can fight that guy. Uh, no, get your shield out. Come on. Uh, well, to be fair, I'm not entirely sure what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, well, I brought us up like an extra like 20 seconds. Baton Ram's still just going to go straight through the door. Game. But it looks like our sharpshooter's doing a bunch of work. Then we've got, yeah, we've got one more, sh oh, if we can word. So we upgraded a veteran archer. So we now have two veteran archers and one, like, mercenary crossbowman that's upgraded. So that's pretty good. Yeah, this is what I mean. The troops just pull back and then run through and then just get slaughtered. Which is always super annoying. Now we got some of our guys going in, but if they're not really fighting as they're going that's an issue across here yeah that's all breached imperial infantry is actually amazing they're gonna be super annoying down there and looks like they're through into this section so long as they don't get flanked we should be fine we've got some very good shields and some long weapons and we should be able to hit over our soldiers but Yeah, not ideal. Yes, this castle's always a problem. And then if they start pushing this side, which thankfully they're not, so the troops there. Okay, so this is what happens. Troops get pulled from this side to go out, reinforce the other side, which leaves this side open. So then they pull the troops back to defend this side and then leaves that side open instead of just spreading out. It's a... Uh, sometimes quite annoying so that's why we want the troop trees to set the way that they were but from trying to command our troops to defend well it was trying to send them outside 
which is a slight issue. But it looks like we might be retaking this side of the wall, which would be super good for us. Because if we can hold the ladder, we're fine. And where we have more troops, ideally at the gatehouse, we should be good. And yeah, they're going to come in piecemeal. So they're going to be fighting like multiple things at the same time. Now, they got far better archers and just run out there. Sturgeon archers on a scale of 1 to 10 suck. They are so bad. Like, the worst archers in the game. I'm just running out there. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you want archers, don't go Sturgia. It's pretty simple. This side, yeah, still holding, still looking good. Are these my heavy guards? No. Some of them are mine. And on this side, if we can get yonder that way, yeah. The gatehouse should hold pretty good. Imperial infantry, especially legionnaires, is awesome. But we are running low on troops. So it looks like we're actually going to lose this one. If only I was able to jump out and take down that battle ram, we would have been fine. But yeah, sometimes this castle is very, very easy to defend, and sometimes it's super difficult. It's very easy to take, though. Super, super easy to take this castle. But, looking towards the left, at least some of our companions are getting some work in. Which I'll count as a good thing. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I'm just going to free time speed it. I think we already know the outcome. Yeah, spank. Utterly banked can we retreat the party sixteen troops uh, and we are captured so yeah not looking uh, like too great just throwing um, that one out there right have been captured. Hopefully a few of our companions can escape. We're not really going to get anyone back. Got a little bit of money, but thankfully we've also got a decent amount coming in from the workshops. So that's what we've been doing as well. Trying to get a bunch of workshops up. Now off the back of this, what do we do? Okay, you accept that. Obviously we want our guys back. And hopefully that means they should be in these sort of towns. Maybe they end up in some of the Britannian towns. And I'm actually thinking that this might... Yeah, we'll accept the offer for 4,000. Now, are we going to be able to get out before they attack us? Cool. Oh, of course I've done that. All right, just ran straight into a group of bluters and then let's go around behind. Get all of our guys back. But saying, might be a good chance for us to get a few more companions leveled up. Okay, there's one down. And he also got a decent hit on another one. Ah, oh, staggers. We don't want that. Right, there's two. Not that we've got a mass amount of health left, mind you. You know, I think we need better armor because getting staggered sucks. It's like going in full heavy horse and he's just like, oh no, someone threw a stone at you. You're like, oh no, I've got to stop. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think that's how it worked. Cool. Well, definite improvement over the last couple of episodes in the sense that I could actually fight something. Not that's much of a bragging point, they're looters, but details. Cool, cool, cool. And only allowed 70 troops this time around. Fair enough. I don't think the caravan's going to give us any beef. Huh. Well, that's an issue. So, pretty much back to where we were before we got arrested. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I'm not sure what I thought was going to happen with that castle. I was like, yeah, we can hold. So, nah, that is a terrible castle to defend. 
It wouldn't be nearly as bad if things didn't get pulled out of position. But when they are pulled out of position, you really can't do much. So that's two companions. Then a bunch of them are, will also escape. Like we said, we got some money coming in from the workshop. So it's not like we're going to run out of money. Ah, uh, Cool, that's three companions. The shield made in. Yeah, I'm not in, like too excited to see how crazy, crazy expensive like the heavy horse is going to be. But I imagine it's not going to be cheap. There we go, another crash. What is happening? And we're back. Okay, that was uh, about five, six hours of work. <laughs> to uh, try and get that sorted. So what we done, because I'm not particularly sneaky or clever. I uninstalled the Cal Radian armor mod. And then put in the open source armory, which has pretty much all of that stuff in it. And from what I can gather... Hopefully, is a, a little bit more reliable. We're not quite back to where we were. Our character's not nearly as good. We don't have as many companions. Well, we've got more companions, but not as many specialist troop companions. But we're still with Sturgeon and the rest of it's all there. Now, uh, this is probably like a day or two ahead of where it is. So I've seen a couple comments. So after this battle, we have a few names to put in so we can name the companions and then with that well if you want your companion named or you want one just let me know tell me who you want and then i'll put them in and if you want a custom gear set up let me know as well because we can do that we're mercenaries so therefore we're going to have people from all over the continent in our ranks we did get a kuzay come in and we gave him some pretty cool kit, so he, he looks like a little ninja, and he's got a bow. We might be able to find him on the way in, actually. Okay, Militia Arch is doing some damage. Probably should be trying to get up the walls instead of looking for someone. Uh, well, I'll tell you something. The Britannian Archers definitely are better <laughs> than the Sturgeon ones. Like, when we're fighting the Empire, we literally could just walk up and then get into the castle. Well, they could. Now, their militia archers are causing us some issues. And we've already lost the ranger as well. So that's one of our companions. He's already down. I got a feeling if we don't get over those walls and get into the castle, we are going to be in a lot of trouble. Now, redesign the axe setup. So we got big boy heavy axes, which hopefully should be pretty ideal. But then what we've also got is super small breaching axes, which I think only have a range of like 56. So super, super short range. But what that does mean is say when we get in close, well, when you, ideally if we get over the wall, we can show you. Um, they're very good at like very, very close combat, which is like fighting on the walls. Now our army's never going to be great out in the open just because we don't have horse we don't have enough heavy horse if we had lots of heavy horse then yeah we'd fight out in the open but we're going to be mainly foot infantry so therefore we are going to be specializing on trying <laughs> to get into castles for sieges okay well i was going to say it's really good but i'm already getting absolutely spanked Okay, range isn't great on it, definitely not, but then it's designed so that, like, when it gets in close, when everyone's like, oh, I've got slow by an arrow. Not particularly surprised. Okay, yeah, so when everyone's in close and it's, like, shield to shield, these can go over the top and cause a whole bunch of damage. Now, fair play to the Britannians. They are holding extremely, extremely well. But then all they're doing is basically what we wanted to be doing, where you just form up on top of the walls, create a very small choke point that troops need to go through. And yeah, you can just hack down massive armies. Now we are up on this side, which gives us the advantage because the Sturgeon Shields, well, I'm going to throw out there are the best in the game. They are very good, offer lots of coverage, fairly quick to move, and they also got a fantastic shield wall, but wow. That is a lot of Sturgeons going down. And how are we looking on the breach through the center? Cool, we're through. Now, 
just because you breached there, that isn't always uh, the best. But that being said, what we do have is a lot more numbers than them. So eventually we are going to tear them apart. And that guy's in uh, the Warlord Scale Kit, which is like some of my favorite in the game. It looks absolutely awesome. And hopefully soon we'll go into the Britannian territory. Then from the Britannian territory, we should be able to pick up some like more fur armors. So that stuff that we gave our like commander, like your iron side at the start, yeah, we can get a similar one in this mod. Actually, to be fair, I think it's actually the exact same one. So it doesn't really matter, but we're breaching through. And I'm going to call this a victory. A victory it was, and we got a distinguished soldier. So we've got Sturgeon Heroic Linebreaker. Okay, that's cool. So that is uh, a meaty that's going to run around with a big old axe and just yeet into combat. Now I know someone who will appreciate that. And that person would be Gnu. So he's got a big axe, a small axe and throwing axes. And I guess we can eventually give him a big shield so we can get in close. So yeah, now we have Gnu in. And I think I have two more to put in on top of that. And then, like I said, anyone else wants to add anything in, feel free. Just throwing this one out there. That does not look like a fight that we could help at all. So that'll be 250 against 489. And... Yeah, I just... Just thrown it out there. I think, I think they're just going to come in and absolutely uh, slaughter us, really. Right. You guys are by yourselves. <laughs> we'll leave that one alone. And I think the other army... No, we've got one here. Now, what is um, going to be... Ooh, trade caravan. Something of a uh, problem is we're now fighting the Kuzay. So we've got the Britannians on one side and then the Kuzay on the other. And, well... Yeah, we're not exactly geared up to be any good at fighting... Ye old Kuze. We've got nothing to do with horses. Now there is two companions there that we would like, but in the meantime, what we also need is see if they've got anything decent in the way of kit for us. So we're after some fancy armors that might work. Got some cool looking helmets, eh? Roman trooper helmet. Doesn't look bad. Let's go give that to someone. Mm, give that to you. Yeah, why not? That'll do. I really dislike those archer helmets. That's why we're trying to hide it. And then see if they've got anything else that would work. Now, I was kind of hoping they would have some bear armor, maybe. Anything for the troops? Lamina vest. And brass lamina. Uh, I guess that might be useful. Yeah, I think that lamina works all right. Sold a couple of axes. Rules still apply. We cannot go and buy things to smelt down. We can only smelt down stuff that we loot from battle. And it turns out we got a decent amount to be able to smelt down in that one. And also I found out how to make like super cheap axes that sell for what, like 19k? So not even mad about that. Okay, let's go join this one's army. And see where we end up. Hopefully in a siege or a nice scrap. Some decent. And looks like we're actually going to be part of a decent sized army. 601. Okay. Well. At peace with the Britannians. Which is good. Which means we're just left with the Kuze. And not sure. But those guys don't seem to be moving. And I have an episode to get on with. So let's move across. And head towards Kuze territory. Now, I have a feeling that this is going to be a terrible, terrible idea. But there is no way that our forces will be able to do anything to help that siege and the city at the top of the hill is being taken. But what we might be able to do is fight Tuman's party. Now, he does have 29 horse archers, 30 infantry, 12 cavalry, 17 ranged. Uh, we're going to need to be careful, but... Oh, we don't even have any peasants with us. Okay, cool. We are in a town, which means that 
their horse archers are going to get messed up and caught on things. So I think so long as we stay tight, get everyone pretty much into the shield, we'll send our horses off to do what they do, even though we're pretty much in. Actually, no, better plan. Dismount our horses. Because, well, we're not really going to be able to do too much with them. And let's actually get into the town itself. Infantry! So everyone. everyone move! And then dismount. Everyone! Dismount! Then everyone, everyone into here. Move! Move! I think that's our best bet. We can anchor against move this building on, here. And then they run in shield wall. Make a shield wall. And this hopefully should give us some ability to defend ourselves. Oh yeah, we also found someone that has uh, was selling a banner, so we went and took that. <laughs> Not expecting miracles from it, but hopefully it does something. And I guess if each one of those horse archers has say 60 arrows between 30 and 60. Uh, yeah, we're going to lose shields before it's done. But, potential to survive it. And also, their guys are going to start getting caught on things, which means I'll. I should get caught on stuff. Saved them that time. Yeah, their horses are not going to be nearly as deadly. Yeah, I'm thinking I might even dismount as well to try and get in on this. Spearman Infantry, what are you going into? You're going into our crossbows. Okay. I think it's going to be a matter of trying to get our infantry to charge in. If we can deal with all of their infantry, they're the Kuzates, so the horses are always going to be dangerous. We have to survive this, though. If we get taken out, we're going to start charging. And if we start charging, we're just going to get picked apart super quick. Move the archers back. We have lost a lot of them already. And then I've also got my skirmishes there that we got set, which was, uh, i trying to think, I think that's our crossbowmen are set as skirmishes, just because we were able to pull them apart, so they're easier to control, so we have different types of archers for different things. Yeah, their horse archers ain't going to be able to do a massive amount from back there. We move the infantry back to here, then hopefully they can engage, take a few things out. Yeah, this is not a fun fight. We are not geared to be fighting this at all. Maybe a few more if we got spearmen. But then still, yes, yeah, spearmen have decent range if the horses charge at you. If the horses aren't charging at you and just run around shooting arrows, then actually, I don't know, having shield walls isn't a bad thing to have either. Ah, uh, wow. I guess we hope they get bored eventually. If we move the archers there. And then put them onto that flank as well. And then at least we got something going back at them so they aren't completely uncontested. Is that my heavy horse? Over there. Is it? Oh, that's cavalry. Okay, you guys move in as well. Pull back. Don't want you caught up there. But to be fair, doing a decent enough job. I think if we keep fighting the Kuzate, we're going to start swapping out to getting more spearmen. Maybe that does it. <laughs> uh, not having a horse and trying to fight a horse sucks. 
But, I mean, we're not out in the open. We're not in the field. There's enough debris that's messing up them actually charging in. And I think if we stay for a while, we'll be all right. And then I think we can break formation in a little bit as well. Yeah, we just need them to come closer. If they come in closer and then we can charge out, I think there's just enough obstacles that they'll end up getting caught. Or they can keep charging in. So long as they keep charging and we can basically pull them off their horses, I am happy with that. That is a successful victory, I'll call it. Some more coming in. And I think there's just a few too many. Like, once they actually get stuck in the middle, it's fine. We can pull them apart. We basically take them off their horse and one from or another. Come on, he's right there. Kill him. Kill him. There's not many now. This strategy's been working all right. Your horse dies. And what about you? And you die. You die. Sweet. Oh, you're going to trade. Come on. Oosh. Shame. It looks like there's only like three, four of them left. You die? No. Nope. You die. I don't think he's getting out of this one. No, tell a lie, he did. Annoying. Can we get in? <laughs> It's like, how, how do you deal with Force Archers? Well, you just go inside, really, until they run out of arrows. Sound. And that's it done. Okay, I take it back. Maybe the Sturgeons are a little bit better at dealing with Force Archers than I thought they'd be. But they have fantastic shield rules issue with it though is you kind of just have to wither the storm <laughs> until they die or get bored we only lost two so i will take that as a victory enough you win today you dog ah the shame of it you are my prisoner buddy Okay, well, to be fair, we can only take two more people in. I don't think any of those are going to really be worth taking. We'll take as many of that as we can. And uh, what have we got here? Yes, we can make the proper heavy horse, a bunch of other heavy horse, some more line breakers. Let's go spearmen soon as we're fighting the Kuzay. And uh, we're back up 72. Happy days. Take all of their loot. And I think the plan is now just to get out of here, regroup, come back in. So we finally, with a little bit of grinding, got one of the champions to become a companion. And so I have a name set for you, which is now Terra. Terra the Heavy Horseman. Think that worked? We are now made peace with Sturgia, so we are now heading south. Towards the start location, because I think that we should be able to find a whole bunch of bandit hordes down there. Because when we spawned in at the start, they're like groups of 30 running around. And I'm just hoping that some of them are still about. So we can try to level up some of our crossbow men. Because we need some sappers and engineers. And I like to think that they make good ones. Because, well, the stats overlap, so why not? Now, as for the amount of crossbow men we got, I think think that we have seven yeah hard crossbow seven so we need to find a group of 35 and it looks like we also lost almost all of our archers in the last fight bit of a shame right there looking like this time we're gonna have a little bit more success not gonna say i've been doing a lot of this off screen but i might be doing a fair bit 
try to do some with the old uh, heavy sturgeon axe men. Turns out <laughs> those guys uh, aren't, aren't as amazing as I thought they were going to be, if, 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 I'm, if I'm being truthful. They ended up getting spanked by a bunch of mountain bandits. It wasn't, it wasn't a good fight, basically. Not impressed. Was not impressed. I thought we were going to do really well, get a whole bunch of experience, level some troops up. And yeah, they all just got wiped out. So, bit of a shame. But mercenary crossbowmen, on the other hand, you guys don't tell me you're out of arrows. Well, bolts. You guys are. Okay. Go stab him in the face then. Hopefully, we should get a few level ups out of this. I think. There we go. Five. I am completely okay with that. Mm, not sure that is, but details right. Now, first thing, we need an engineer. So, Shumsan, the sharpshooter, he's an engineer. And then everyone else is now trained for combat. And actually, I'll tell you what, let's go make one more an engineer. Yeah, Fenton the Bowman. So if we get a Lord or anything, we can give them an engineer. That makes sense. And also if one of them's down, then the other one can be used, I guess. Yeah, I like that. About time. We had a whole bunch of downtime where, well, there wasn't a fight going on because the Sturgeons weren't starting one. And nor the Northern Empire or anyone that we were against. But now the Northern Empire has kicked off. So we are going to be fighting them, which is going to be super sweet. Because we need to, well, get in some scraps. Because it turns out going after bandits doesn't really do too much for you. Even though there is 39 there and I'm super tempted to go and fight them. But we are not. We are going to go in and actually have a proper fight with some proper armies. Now, our clan size hasn't really increased. But what we have done in the meantime is recruit a whole bunch of companions. So we are looking pretty good. So we went into the Kuzay territory and picked up a whole bunch of Kuzay. And now the good thing about the Kuzay is most of them start with some decent archery skill. So we're happy with that and giving them Kuzay equipment. And then obviously we've got the whole bunch of mercenary crossbowmen and then the whole bunch of the champions. But yeah, we got a fairly mixed bunch. But I guess if you've got a group of mercenaries going from civilization to civilization starting fights, well, you're going to have a pretty mixed group, which I think will play in because obviously we are Sturgeons. But I think that that means we can have like people wearing like certain faction specific kit. And I think that will look pretty smart and still be fitting. Now everyone's going to be pretty much kitted up the same, which is a single breacher axe, a big two handed axe for to hit over the people in front. Do you need to start working on pole arms? That's something that we haven't done in a little while. And we've also, because we're in Kuzet territory, been able to pick up a whole bunch of steep war bows. Well, that's because they're better than anything that we've got. And looks like we are back to the same old castle that the episode began on. All right, let's go join in the fight. And that was pretty rapid. They were ready, ready to go. Not building the siege towers, which I'm fine with. Half the time they don't work anyway. Or the enemy just pulls out of the siege towers. <laughs> which is what we're doing in uh, the first companion playthrough we were just waiting to a siege tower coming and then we just storm out the siege tower onto them okay soon as we know the setup and we know what's going to happen i think that we pull this side and we just try to get up this wall as quickly as we can which will then free up the wall on the other side which means that we should be in and out super quickly obviously good for us and should mean that a bunch of our foot soldiers should get a decent amount of experience. A lot of shoulds there, but all trying to figure this out. Off the old horse, we'll get the ladder, put it to the wall, and hope this time we can actually get up it. So you've got a big old shield on your back. No, no, ah, oh, the ladder's gone down. But it still doesn't block arrows. That is something that I did like in Warband is you just used to go in with two shields. You'd have one on your back. Wow, okay. Just let me pick up a ladder. Okay, someone else is on it, so they can't stun it. Yeah, so you go up with 
like one on your front and then one on your back and that just made you like super super turtly in sieges or tanky i guess would be a better phrase for it okay so if we can't push through no we're already down got absolutely spanked was kind of hoping that we'd just be able to force through that i think if we didn't take such a kicking from the archers and for so <laughs> that guy just went flying yeah, if we weren't taking such a kick from the archers and continuously getting stunned, we would have been up those ladders, like, super quick. And we would have been there before those troops were. So that is a little bit annoying. No, you're going the wrong way, mate. Up the ladder. Not down. Good. So a few of our guys are in. Not many. But hopefully they can get a bunch of kills. With a bunch of kills, they can level up and then we get more companions. Which is something that would like. You guys just going to stand there? Amazing. Right, well, we would have been in if those guys had decided to go up the ladder. It was a bit annoying, but it looks like they've been pulled from this side, which means that this, yeah, straight in and across. Yeah, I'm liking that. It's going to be a fairly quick take. Oh, I thought that was like another group of people running in the background. No, that's just shadows. Cool, that's done. I imagine the siege or the battering ram is going to be good. Yeah, that door is going to break there. I'm going to put out that. I think this is the worst castle to defend. Unless you get all your archers, chuck them up in the top here, and then... No, it's not going to let us. Yeah, put your infantry into there. So they come along, and then you got all of your guys fighting, like, one or two people at a time. Yeah, I think if we get our, uh, like, backs against the wall and end up in this castle, we just retreat into there. Now, issue being, it does mean that if, say, our reinforcements come in, they're going to be caught out in the open. I think by that point... Uh, Ivy, you know you're going to make the siege or not. But then that might mess with the AI again. Oh well, all things to figure out. And I'm going to throw it out there. This siege is ours. So Sturgeon Heroic Linebreaker. We've already had one of them level up. So that's good. And then four Sturgeon Heavy Spearmen. Yeah. That is actually awesome. Okay, and all of you train for combat so that give them an extra 100 athletics which means now they're going to be even more dangerous because they're just going to be super redonkulously quick so speed now 250 on some 239 and then i think we saw a 260 as well and we lost the grand total of one troop and what was it a virag yeah not the end of the world and to prisoners, we're at your mercy. Yes, you are. You're my prisoner now. And as for prisoners 25 there, level ups. Oh, we can start getting some more horse and upgrade the Vigags as well. Sweet. Whole bunch of loot, nothing too fancy. It didn't look like, but that is more stuff for us to smelt down. We can't sack the town because we're not actually part of it. And let's have a little look-see. Yeah, I think that these guys <laughs> are going to be quite good. I am happy with that. And with the episode nearly coming full circle, I think that is a good place to round it off. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Gonzi. All your likes, comments, sub support have been amazing. You guys are awesome. And I'll catch you on the next one.